welcome. It's Monday, March 28, 2016. Right? Well, mm. I'm telling you what, I uh -oh. love coming in on a Monday and wishing somebody a happy birthday. Oh my gosh. Yes. Whose birthday is it now? It is this young lady. Her name is Clara Sampson. Okay. And on March 28th, Clara will be 104 years old. Everybody. You mean today? Today. Well, happy birthday. Clara looks great. Clara looks great. Wow. 104 years ago today, Clara was born. That's good She even kind of got a little wrapper jeans. about her. Got a chain yeah. outside. Of her. <laughs> All she need to miss it is posing like that. <laughs> <laughs> really? She looks great. She looks great. Happy birthday, Clara. Good for her. Yes. Yeah. 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 So here's something I uh, find so... Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it because I just know that... Um, when I had a baby shower, my husband did everything in his power to avoid having to go to it. I didn't right? think a man was supposed to go. No, they're having something now called uh, dad chiller parties. They're baby showers for men. Man showers. How do you all feel about that? Okay, go all right. So one guy's like, yeah. Right. Well, you know what? Explain it to me. You like that idea? He why not? I don't know. Why? <laughs> now, explain what exactly happened at one of these things. I need to know. Then I can make a decision. Well, I don't know. I, I, I think I think Huggies has... I, Huggies. I think uh, um, Pinterest has something to do with this because yeah. Pinterest is responsible, I think, for kind of everything, every trend that happens in the yeah. universe. But uh, Pinterest has uh, searches for man showers that have increased by 149%. Co-ed showers for both moms and dad increased by 255%. It's just basically a baby shower where you give uh, the men... Um, you know, baby gifts and stuff, but it seems like there's this added twist of, like, bizarre behavior, like they're bobbing for beer cans out of a car seat. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, like, I don't, I don't really understand I'm you that, right now. but... You can't have a man shower and expect guys not to do something stupid like that. Right. I mean, that's what we do. You give us free time, it's like, dude, we right. just threw this so that you can get out the house finally. Right. So it's going to be, like, crazy. I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. They also have a game called Pin the Nursing Bosom on the Lady. Oh. Are you serious? No, I just made that. Oh, no. <laughs> that would be funny, though. Think about it. That's an incredible game. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Just, but did, did it's all you, up here. But when you have a when you have a baby shower, do you want your man there? Um, no, I my my baby shower was a surprise, um, and it was such a surprise. I was I, I should bring in. Usually, when I get invited to baby showers, I give a framed photo of myself at my baby shower as part of the gift because it's so awful and clearly such a surprise. What um, were you wearing? I was wearing a large. A large, a triple large, um, a sweatsuit fabric tent, be, and uh, my husband's flip flops because I had gained so much weight at that point that shoes didn't fit. So I was wearing my husband's flip flops and a giant sweatsuit that was shaped like a tent. And um, and when I show people pictures, they're like, "Who is that?" I'm like, "That's me." And they're like, "No, seriously, who is that?" I'm like, "That is me at my baby shower." Wow. Yeah. So, so. Um, so anyway. Let's get off that subject. Yeah, anyway. anyway. It's bringing back some memories, memories. And um, speaking of gaining weight. Yeah. Um, do you Instagram pictures of your food? Only, I've only Instagrammed, I've Instagrammed one photo once. I, I made a cherry pie with fresh cherries and, um, and I was really proud of myself because I did like a lattice crust and people on my Instagram feed got into fights with each other really? over the pie crust and I was like, everybody calm down. It's a pie. It's just a they pie. They got to fight over the pie crust. It's not like my they're lattice, getting a piece. My lattice wasn't woven. How dare you? And you stay out of 
it. It's a free country. This is my first amendment. I was like, and why are you following her if you got something bad to say? Yeah, I get all that. No, it yeah. was like I, got it. they were fighting with each other, and wow. I. So I like, and I. I Did usually, you chime in? What I do is I usually post and run. Like I don't even stick around. But it like people. My girlfriend was like, "Are you on your Instagram feed right now?" I'm like, "Never." Why? They're like, she's like, people are like threatening each other over your pie crust because you didn't weave your lattice. I'm like, first of all, I don't know what that means. Second of all, <laughs> second of all, what are you talking about? And I went on and it was so, people were so mean to each other that I said, hey guys, let's make pie, not war. Okay, I was like, yeah. let's like, everybody calm down. But answer this question. Calm down. How? Like if, if, if we are all worried about my pie crust lattice not being woven, then life is good for everybody on this page, right? If this is our biggest yeah. problem right now, but I have we a question, all though. need How to... did it taste? Delicious. It yeah. was delicious. Because that is the thing. They, they, did, they did a study about Instagram shots of people. You know, if you have food porn, I guess you could say. And mm -hmm. Gilman, you do it sometimes. Do Shuli does it, where you post pictures of your food. And, mm -hmm. But they say it, people found their meal more pleasurable if they posted it online first. <laughs> they did a study. Yeah. They said because it delayed gratification. So when they finally ate it, they were like, oh, this is scrumptious. Well, I, I got to tell you, I, I was just proud of myself because I had never made a cherry pie with fresh cherries before, right? Ever. And I had certainly never, and I will never in the, there it is. Hey, yeah, there it is. So, okay, oh. yeah, okay. You didn't weave your lattice. I didn't weave my lattice. I you know. didn't weave the lattice. I know. By the way, everybody, put your thumbs away. We know the lattice isn't woven. It was my first attempt at a homemade cherry pie. But it was delicious. It that was delicious. Yeah, it was great. And I was I was proud of myself. And I was proud of myself that I actually forced the entire family to let it cool and set before we... Because normally we destroy it before it's... I mean, we just destroy it. When you it. make something like that the first time, you almost don't want to touch it. You just want to let it sit. Look good in the in the in the in the pie holder. And I put a heart on it, okay. yes, because I had it. extra crust. See, I utilized my extra crust. Oh man! And it's a little. Sh I dusted it with a little sugar. I'm gonna make a pie. <laughs> that inspired me to make a pie. Let, we serious. should have a pie, a pie baking competition. We said what? <laughs> I will surprise I'm a lot of people around here with my skills in the kitchen. I may be a little unorthodox when we have cooking sections over there, cook, cooking things, but the end result, I must say, is quite divine. <laughs> <laughs> what, Gilman? As, I burn as somebody the that had, As somebody that had your eggs flambe. <laughs> Let me tell you right now. It that was, was not my fault. I know. That <laughs> stove was not heating was up. Too, no, it was too hot. The oven was, was yeah. bad. That was not me, but if it you let us get hot. in the kitchen, I tell you, I can do some amazing things in the kitchen. All right, kitchen challenge week coming up. All right. Yeah. Yeah, but you have to do it. You that have to do it. Good. Huh? Gilman's like a professional yeah. chef. Anybody who does yoga as much as he does, you know they can cook. <laughs> but you know what? what with this, this is something I found unbelievable. Speaking of sweets and mm -hmm. candies. And and I got my Girl Scout cookie this year. Did anybody else buy Girl Scout yes. cookies this year? Always. 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 Like, I love, what is your favorite one? I love uh, the Samoas. Oh. Because yeah. I love Right that, on the yeah. money. I love a coconut caramel yeah. chocolate drizzle with a cookie. I mean, if you're going to go for it, go for it. You know, Samoas are the best. I got to say, though, for a little refreshing snack, I put my Thin Mints in the freezer. <laughs> Kind of like that, and then the one with the um, the peanut butter and, oh, and yeah. it's delicious. I mean, man, you are, you up there going, yeah, Michael, you are excited. Are those called dosi do dosi dos? Tag alongs. Tag -along. what, what, which are the dosi dos? Peanut butter cookies, right? Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, right. the tag along. So That's many, what I love. so many varieties. But so they, many. but they, but they did a whole thing, and they found that people spent seven hundred and eighty million. On Girl Scout cookies, they earned seven hundred and eighty million dollars on Girl Scout cookies. But, but, but I'll be honest with you, that's a little sad. You know why? Why? Because people spent um, three point four billion on legal marijuana this year. Oh. 
You would think thought, that that would increase the cookie right. sales. <laughs> you would think it would go hand in hand, I would imagine. Right? Yeah. So buy more Girl Scout cookies. So yeah. buy more Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, so you Support never know Girl Scouts, right? You never know when you're going to need them. <laughs> Isn't that right, Art? You never know when you're going to need a Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> you got it. You got it. All right, but This Art, is amazing to me. He wow. just woke up from his nap. <laughs> <laughs> but support huh? the Girl Scouts. Go out and buy some cookies, everybody, and uh, raise some more money for the young ladies. You know, we have a big show today, everybody. Oh, we sure do. Yeah. Craigie Ferguson is here. Yeah. Craigie Ferg. Hello, Craigie. Craigie Ferg. Craigie yeah. Ferg. Craigie Ferg. Craig, he's a funny dude. Man, he's, he's a funny great. guy. And um, from the series, crazy ex-girlfriend Rachel Bloom will be I here. I sure do like her. <laughs> I like her a lot. No, I, I like her. <laughs> I like her. I don't like yeah. a crazy ex-girlfriend, though. I like her a Woo. lot. And we begin live's flashback games when every day this week we're gonna have a flashback. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna give a lucky member of our studio audience a chance to walk away with some cold, hard cash. Yeah. Up to, um, yeah. You get a chance to you get a chance to win up to um, up to one thousand dollars. So it's, it's nice. All right. Are y'all ready to kick this party off? Ready to go. Let's give it up for our dancer and our happy dance trouble. Here we go. Outstanding. I mean, you had to face the, mm. and then you pulled the string and you pull yourself around the circle without going anywhere. That was amazing. Great job, Corey. Great job. All right, let's say hello to Valerie Holmes from Rancho Cucamonga, California. I love saying that. Rancho hello. Cucamonga. Rancho Cucamonga. Hello, Valerie. How are you? I'm doing fine, Michael. Yeah. Trying Hello? to call somebody up. There you are dancing. There you get it. Get it, girl. Get it. Now, um, so that's at home, I take it in the living room. That's correct. All right. And um, that is your happy dance. And I gotta say, what are you doing today out there? What's making you happy in Retro Cucamonga today? Well, it's gonna be about 80 degrees, and um uh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, <laughs> we're just uh, sorry. No it's, reminiscing. It's Kelly here. Hi, Val. Um, I'm so I Hi. 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 <laughs> well, I know, bad. we have a bad connection, Val. But listen, anyway, we just love the idea of 80 degrees in Rancho Cucamonga. It mm. sounds amazing. <laughs> it is. We We're going to spin the wheel and see if we can get you out of the sunshine of California and into the sunshine of someplace else. Okay. Club? Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Val, listen to wow. this. The club in Barbados. Yeah. Seven days, six nights in an ocean front room. Mm -hmm. All inclusive. This trip is provided in part by Hotels.com. It's a prize valued at $8,300. Valerie, you have 20 seconds and only one guest. Good luck. Good trip. All right, Valerie, here you go. We've had actress Amy Adams on the show. And what 2007 mm -hmm. musical film did we say Amy starred? And what 2007 musical musical film did we say Amy Adams starred? Ten seconds. Five seconds. Take a guess. <laughs> Well, 
Sorry, Val. Yeah. Sorry, Val. We, the movie was Enchanted. Yeah. Enchanted, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no it's okay. don't you be sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. But listen, you're still going to get a great prize. You and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive a $500 gift certificate from Crate and Barrel. Yeah. Hey, that's great. Yeah. So please pick a number between 1 and 223. 12. 12. 12. Oh, there you go, right there. And Valerie, thank you for playing. Congratulations, young lady. Everybody stay right there when we come back. The very funny Craig Ferguson will be here with us. Still ahead on live, we begin our week-long flashback game when someone in our audience will go home with some cash. From the series Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Golden Globe winner Rachel Bloom. Yes. And you oh, did you go back to college or yeah, what? You know what it is? I've kind of gone upriver a little bit. I've gone a little feral since I stopped doing late night. <laughs> I, I moved into this very nice dumpster behind an IHOP and I'm living there. It's the it's the new thing, it's the new chic in LA. Everybody yeah. looks like a hobo. Oh great. It's a good thing. Hey, have you seen I, I I was just I got in New York a couple of days ago and I saw Hamilton. Have you seen Hamilton? Oh, yeah. oh my I just, gosh. I just the greatest see, musical. Oh, my my lord, right. what is that? Because I'm not a Broadway guy. You know when it's the, who will buy my sausages? I'm not that guy. Right, right. No, it's a different, this but is a different show. Different, different game. It's amazing show. And I thought, I thought when I watched it, because I'd heard so much about it, there's going to be like pyrotechnics and big flashy things. Mm -hmm. Just raw talent yeah. of the and performers. And it lives up to the hype. It's not. Yeah, yeah right. that's what I was, yeah. I was amazed by. We have the soundtrack in our house, and it's the only thing we play in the house. How, fun, the how funny is that King George song? I, like, da, 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 da. Yeah, unbelievable, right? I, He's got to win a 20. You can do that role. Yeah, yeah, I want to do that role. If he ever decides to stop doing it, yeah. you know, I'd do it. I want I'll do it on my own in my house. <laughs> I, I want Lin-Manuel to make a musical about trigonometry or about every, every topic in uh, the American classrooms that give students trouble. You know, like, th my kids didn't have any interest in, like, history. Well, that's, that's why I'm doing right. this show as well. I'm doing right. the Join or Die show on, yeah. on history because right. it's kind of like, because every, you, every time you talk about history or you even think about it, yeah. it's like, it's a, like a, in 1754, right. the, the, the drawer right. of the things came over here. Exactly. And the soldiers were mad. And nobody can take it in. But right. when, it's, when you think it's a story of people and they were like us and they laughed and they cried and they pooped and they, and, yeah. oh, they pooped. Uh, maybe a little more than we do now, actually. Really? Oh, that, I don't know. I'm not <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe there was more pooping in the olden days. I don't know. That's something we should look into. Speaking of pooping, are you still vegan? Still vegan. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 How wait, wait. It? How is that speaking of pooping? I, I don't know. But how long have it... Because I heard it's like rabbit pellets yes. when you go Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's vegan. right. What I do is I find a little quiet place in the farm. <laughs> but how long have you been a vegan? Uh, nearly two years now. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I did it. I saw this documentary on Netflix, and I was like, oh, I'll just wait. Because, you know, you just like, Hitler documentary, Hitler documentary, Hitler documentary. I'm going to try right, something right. else. Uh, and so I watched this documentary about veganism, and I went, <gasps> and I'll it give it a try. What was and it then called? It, uh, Forks Over Knives, it was called. And what was the hardest part about becoming vegan for um, you? Not really, it wasn't really hard at all, weirdly yeah. enough. The only, uh, milk in the coffee. Oh, that was yes. the only thing. D learn to drink black coffee. And now, if, I, if someone puts it in by accident or something, I'm like, I'm like a cat with a hairball. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's I weird. Don't, I, I don't think I could give up dairy. Because I'm, I'm primarily vegetarian, but I, and I would love to go vegan, but I don't think I can give up milk in my coffee. My wife gave up dairy for a little bit, and she had to get back on it because she right. was getting sick. Yeah. She wow. was like, it didn't make her, she felt bad. Also, is there dairy in Bailey's? <laughs> yeah, yes, but all the all the bad stuff is taken out by the alcohol. Okay, so you're all right. right. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, I do, do you drink Bailey's? Well, sometimes. Oh, really? yeah, I'm like an old lady. I drink Bailey's. Uh, Bailey's is kind of like, I always think of Bailey's because I used to work as a bartender. Uh -huh. And yeah. like when people come in and have Bailey's, I was like, oh, you got a problem. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's, 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 it
I will sit and we will sit and have a glass of Bailey's. That's when she nice. Comes in. That's it is nice. a very casual, sipping, conversational yeah. drink. We have a Bailey's I, on the rocks. Yeah. I need to take your word for it. Any drink I had was never a casual conversation. <laughs> right. Or you just mix it into some coffee and have yeah, some fun yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah. you know, we got to take a quick break, man. Sure. We come back. Craig's going to reveal one of his favorite childhood moments. So stay right there. Craig Ferguson is here. We're going to talk about that. Don't go anywhere. Still ahead on live from the series. So, join or die, because it, it, it goes back. Talk about you debate different events in history with a celebrity panel. Yeah, well, there's, we always have a, a celebrity, usually somebody that was on the late night show when I was doing it, who, uh -huh. somebody I know that can hang. You know how right. when you have guests and you know, is it going to be work or yeah. is it going to be easy, yes. right? Okay. Yes. So, yeah. always well, you're the ones, easy, yeah. by the way. Well, yeah. Yeah, you know I'm yeah. easy. Yeah. I'm like, hey, <laughs> and the fuck. Right. But you know the ones I'm talking about that go and yeah. go, yes. Yeah, them. So uh, I never had any of them. Uh, so I would have a celebrity who was like that. Usually a comedian, because comedians are, you yeah. know, They're quick. not afraid to say anything. Right. Uh, and always an expert on the subject. So if we get too far off of, you know, in a flight of fancy, they can bring, bring us back, back in. Yeah. Do, do you have a favorite moment in history from when you were a kid? Yeah, well, the moon landing for me, I think, is a big deal because I was seven years old when, and I watched the moon landing when I was in Scotland. We were allowed to stay up late because it was the middle of the night. It was prime time in America, but it was the middle of the night in Scotland. And, and I remember seeing these Americans landing on the moon and I thought, I want to be one of them. No kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. NASA won't let me in, but I am an American. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's as close as I can get to being an astronaut. It's have, like, you, have you ever met any astronauts? Sure, I met a bunch of them, yeah. 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 Uh, have you, ever, you had Buzz Aldrin on sure. Well, I've met him, but yeah, I yeah, oh, I Buzz is him. crazier yeah. than a bed bug. He's yeah. fantastic. We He's actually, fantastic. Oh, we actually did a movie uh, together. You did a movie? We did an animated film. We oh, were really? Voices really? An animated what, film. What, what, yeah. what? It's called Fly Me to the Moon. It's about flies that go up into outer space. So, you know, yeah. I, 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 I remember now. I love that movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being supportive. Wait, wait for the sequel. Yeah, 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 I'm being supportive. And then Fly Me to Mars. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, boy. Flies that go to the moon? That's really... They get stuck in the... They get stuck in. I know the flies cute. Are they yeah. kind of like, oh gosh, no, I gotta get back. They love yeah. it. I, oh, I love that. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah. Now, but on this show, you go through so many. I'm, I'm sure a lot of great topics. But what do you think about conspiracy theories? Because you know, we... I quite enjoy a good conspiracy theory. I, I mean, they're they're stupid. I mean, here's a good one: the conspiracy theory that they faked the moon landing. Well, that's a that's yeah. a huge conspiracy. Right. And some theory. guy came up to you. Ever see that uh, viral video? Somebody did that to Buzz Aldrin in a in a no, uh, outside a movie theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Buzz Aldrin was there, and he's like. I'm going to see the moon. And uh, he said, hey, you never went to the moon. He's like, get away from me. Get away from me. He said, you never went to the moon. It was good. And Buzz hit the guy. Oh, no yeah, yeah. But if you watch the video, you think, no, that guy needs hitting. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, and also, it's Buzz Aldrin. You got what you were going for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You got the reaction you yeah. were you, for. you go up and start poking a hornet's nest, you're going to get stung. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I tell you what, yeah. man. As you can see, this show is funny. Yeah. And yeah. interesting. And it is called Join or Die with Craig Ferguson. And that's a great title, so join it. Okay? Thursday at 11 p.m. on History. That is a great Craig title. Ferguson, everybody. Yes. Tomorrow on Live, from the series Shades of Blue, Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Everybody knows that was on purpose. Yes. That's how we wanted that to That's how brilliant I am at comedy. <laughs> yes. And it's not that I normally don't wear pencil heels. <laughs> I like that I was high-fiving people, and even some people who, like, didn't even want to high-five, they were like, I guess this is the thing to do. It was great. <laughs> they were like, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Fine. Welcome to my world. Yeah. <laughs> so this is your first time here. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for, for having coming. me. We love having you here. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you live in California now, but you went to NYU. I did. Yeah. Wow. I really miss the city. I miss I miss New York a lot. What do you miss the most? Oh, the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> People in LA don't eat carbs. I know it's weird. It's really weird. <laughs> it's bizarre. It's weird. Well, everyone there is so tiny. Because I know it's like a lot of actors and stuff. And right. And in New York, I felt like skinny because right. everyone's eating bagels. Right. So Everybody we're all in carbs. the same. But then I got to LA and I started going to commercial auditions and I was just like, oh, I'm a heifer. Okay. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
But, but you really feel, you see like these girls who are so tiny and you're just like, I, and you just start looking at your body. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Usual suspects. You start, seeing, <laughs> you start like looking at the bottom of coffee cups and you're like, wait, am I? <laughs> am I out of shape? <laughs> No, no, you you seem like a natural. You're a natural performer. Did you always want to perform? I I did. Yes. I mean, I'm an only child, and I think only children are naturally, oh, yeah. you know, attention getty weird people. Yeah. Um, every only child I've ever met is weird. Uh, did someone say it's true. Yeah. 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 Oh, and cameraman raises his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I always wanted to perform. I kind of just came out of the womb singing and dancing, and my. my Mom is a is a musician and my well she's a pianist and my grandpa was an amateur uh, theater director and stand up comic. Oh, so it's by in your night. it's in your blood. It's in my blood. Yeah, and you were roommates with Alana Glazer. I was from Broad City. I was. I love that girl. I was yeah, and I actually I came across an old pilot that I was working on, where I based a character off Alana and I can no longer use it because she has her own TV show, but she's awesome. Yeah, she's so that funny. had to be a funny household. Uh yeah, it was. It was pretty fun. We got to, we, we have to say congratulations to you because you recently, you won the Golden Globe. Yeah. You won the Golden Globe for your show, Crazy X. Oh my God. Wow. They're all picking themselves now. Well, you know, I don't know. It's weird because all those networks have like shows that are doing well. So I don't know like if anyone regrets it. It's so funny. I don't remember saying, I'm going to talk to you like it's people. <laughs> Like, I know I'm an exactly articulate what you writer. Meant. Yeah. That's what it, that, I mean, they, nobody ever talks to them like they're people. People well, talk to them like they're celebrities. Right, which is which is funny because this has happened for me really quickly. Like eight months ago, I thought my show was dead. Mm -hmm. I was broke, partially because I'm horrible at saving money. Um, <laughs> and I and I went back to a part-time writing job, and then suddenly, within a week, like my show was ordered to series by CW. So this has all happened to me very quickly. And suddenly, I'm like dressed by stylists and stuff, and you really see like, oh, it's just regular people yeah. with experts dressing them right. and putting on makeup. But that dress was extraordinary. Thank that you. Was gorgeous. It was it was made for me by Mr. Christian Siriano. Oh who's my gosh, very he's talented. So Talented, he's yeah. amazing. He's yeah, a, he's, yeah, yeah. Give him a round of applause. But you know, speaking of the dress, though, and getting and all that stuff, and getting ready for the show, you you like created some song about getting dressed for the Golden Globes. I did. What was the name of the song? Well, it's based. So the pilot, my show's a musical, and there's a song in the pilot called the Sexy Getting Ready Song. So I did a version of it for the Golden Globes called the Sexy Golden Globey Song. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Can well, we you got a clip of it, oh, actually. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah, okay. we do. Even, even better. better. Perform song. Wonderful. It's the Sexy Golden Globey Song. The Sexy Golden Globey Song. Spanks and a corset. Spanks and a corset. The Sexy Golden Globey Song. I can't wait. You know what? Like two courses. Yeah, no, that's good. Well, you know what? Congratulations Thank that you, you so need much. two corsets. That's like a. That's um. That means God loved you more. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And congratulations. No, it's that song is now number ten on iTunes. It's moving up the charts. <laughs> God, I hope it was. Yeah. And we we're gonna take a quick break. We come back. Um, Rachel's gonna tell us about the inspiration behind her show, Crazy X. We'll be right back with Rachel Lee. So that was a scene from my crazy, uh, crazy ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Now, are you a crazy ex-girlfriend? Where did the idea come from? Well, first of all, I think we all are crazy exes. Man, women, gay, straight, trans. No, no matter who you are, love what love physically does to your brain, because it's the urge to reproduce. Mm -hmm. That's our whole purpose in life is to reproduce. Uh -huh. We're just basically bags carrying our genitalia to reproduce. Right. Um, that's our sole purpose in life. Um, and so the urge to... Will you come to our house and teach our children yes, about Yes, absolutely. That? Come Thank watch you. my children's show on PBS. <laughs> Bags of genitalia. Um, <laughs> But what love does to your brain, and that's really what inspired the show. My co-creator and I, well, she, we, we've been, we wanted to do a, a dark twist on romantic comedies and explore the kind of contradictory messages that women are given where it's like, well, love is everything. Getting married is everything. You should give everything up for love. But at the same time, when a woman acts remotely irrational, it comes to love. It's, oh, well, you're crazy. Why are you so crazy? And it's like, well, maybe I'm crazy because you keep telling me that love is the be-all, end-all. So maybe if we didn't have these, like, Western notions of 
love being the ultimate goal for women, I wouldn't be as crazy. So we're exploring all these contradictory messages, but ultimately it's also exploring like just what biologically infatuation does to you and it makes you out of your mind mm -hmm. and it affects you more if you're already not happy because chances are when someone does something truly crazy for love they weren't in the best place to begin with and love is their fixation and their escape from like the issues that they're not facing. I tell you right now you should do you a should class. Be a psychologist. <laughs> I have your, you should be a psychologist. I have your first um, I have your first patient too. Yeah. That guy right there was laughing a little too hard. Yeah, and he yeah. said, "Love makes yeah. you crazy." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's incredible. Congratulations on your We're golden so glove. Happy. Thank you. We're so, we're so happy for you. It is crazy ex girlfriend. It's Monday, the 8 p.m. on the CW. Make sure you watch the very funny Rachel Bloom, everybody. Tomorrow on live from Chicago. We're giving lucky members of our studio audience a chance to win up to a thousand dollars as we look back on some live history. So let's meet that person today from Doylestown, Pennsylvania, Seal Pla. Come on down. Uh, quinceanera. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Well, we don't have to show them. Okay. Well, you know what? If, right. if, okay. you, if you, but in this, in this game, you can win some money. You win some money. You can take them to lunch today too, because behind you are ten flashback photo mem moments from our show. They okay. need to be flipped and then put in chronological order, oh, starting sure. with the earliest date of when it was shown or happened right here on live. The earliest date down there, I, and at the end of one me. minute. You will get $100 for each photo that is in the correct spot. Let me just tell you that we're going to help you. The newest. Can we're you do it? You we're here to help it? you. We're oh, helping okay, you. Okay. Yeah. But that is really not a lot Doesn't of help because we can barely remember what happened yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Seriously, so, we, we are not very good we'll at this. Teamwork. We'll do teamwork. Teamwork. Let's we'll do uh, let's get started. And maybe okay. maybe I'm sure the audience can scream and holler too. That yeah. would that would help us. Okay. Why not? Just turn them over. Let's turn them over. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's That's first. That's first. No. No, let me see. This is a... Christmas. This is like this past That's Christmas. newer. That this? is newer. That's before. This is here. Here. This, this year. That's us last year's Oscar. Is that last year? That's last year's Oscar. I looked at my haircut. Bam! Why? I have. I'm telling you, this was not. This is not pretty. No, this is all wrong. This is all wrong. Well, the, the, oh my God, the, the, the producer has spoken. We let Seal down in a major and Seal, way. we have let you down. I'm going to lunch. But you have won. No, you got enough to go to lunch because you won 300 bucks, my dear. Oh right now everybody stay right there we'll be right back if you'd like to know more about anything you see on live just log on to our website at live